Welcome back to Sledgehammer Horror, guys. I am Ken Sledge. And I'm Ashley Sledge. And let's talk horror. So we are now on day seven of our seven-day trailer watches. We are very excited to watch this last one. We know nothing about this movie. Nothing at all. Um, we know that Nicolas Cage is in it. We know Maika Monroe is in it. Which is, hey, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's yeah. see what we get. Uh, this is another one we genuinely have not seen this trailer yet. Mm -hmm. So we have no idea what we're in for. We know Nicolas Cage. We know Maika Monroe. We know we're about to press play, guys. So let's check out the trailer for Long Legs. Kind of makes me think it's a spider movie. What would give that away? Maybe it's just somebody with really long legs. <laughs> A car. It doesn't have long legs. I don't like spiders. Nine circles in Holland. <laughs> we got a Dante Inferno reference already. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think this has nothing to do with spiders. I was thinking that too. <laughs> what are we spelling oh, out here? Oh, that looks like Shelley Duvall actually, when she was in The Shining. <laughs> See a gunshot. Oh, we're spelling out long legs. Making a note in this cage. Osgood Perkins written and directed it. Okay. Wow. That gave us nothing again. Are you Coming soon. Your well, it's not done yet. Oh, okay. Oh, if there's a cross holding something down, don't take it off. No. Is it like sideways? That's what it looks like. No, it's straight up and down. See, like they're taking the boards oh, off. Oh, okay. There's a note on there. It probably says, hey, don't ever open this shit. <laughs> Too late. But from... Okay. What? I can genuinely say, we've talked a lot about how this trailer gave nothing away. That trailer gave nothing away. That's the best that trailer. didn't give anything <laughs> you know, away. Nothing. You can watch that trailer 50 times. You're going to have any idea what's going on. But There's a car A car race, looks like. Someone gets shot. Um, but Obviously, knows? there's something supernatural. Because you obviously you have the cross. You have them saying, say your prayers. I think that's what she was saying. Did you say did your you prayers? Yeah, did you say your prayers uh, today? They protect us from whatever. Um... So yeah, uh, Nicholas Cage by Aikman Row, another one we were sold on just by the cast. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Dakota Fanning and Georgina Campbell. Um, but obviously, you know, this one has me extremely intrigued. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like we're starting to get to the point now with horror where marketing is fucking awesome. Yeah, they're like, let's not give away the best jump scare. Let's not give away... You know, every plot point. Yeah, every plot point so that we can draw our audience in. Horror uh, lovers, they actually don't want to know what's happening. They want to be surprised. Right. They, we don't want to know every we joke, don't. every scare, every plot line through when, your trailer. When you see it in the trailer and then you go watch the movie, it's almost like you're disappointed. Like, oh, I, I already seen this in the trailer. Like, mm -hmm. I could have just watched the trailer and been done with it in these, three minutes. These seven movies, how to make a trailer. Halloween Kills not how to make a trailer um they give away some of the best moments in that trailer and i'm this is not a slam at the halloween franchise because i love halloween kills I, i've grown to love that movie yeah but i just i'm i'm very excited for the horror movies we have coming up this year i don't think we're going to touch 2022 i think we have potential to beat 2023 we're, we're off to a rough start we are so oh, far we are off to a rough start but as of you know now we're off to a rough start this is the middle of march yeah so we can only go up from here we hope let's, let's hope so <laughs> Um, again, we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us, doing seven trailer reactions in seven days. Now that we're done with them, what movie are you most excited about for this year? What movie has piqued your interest the most? After these, I'm honestly going to say it's Late Night with the Devil, The Watchers, and Long Legs. Those three all have me excited because I've seen a trailer and got nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Baghead doesn't look bad. 
I actually, I'm, I think it goes Watchers, Baghead, and then Late Night with the Devil okay. is, is my most anticipated as of now. Yeah, I think Immaculate and the First Omen are going to be streaming movies for us. They, they might. You never know. They, we, we, we'll probably love them. They'll yeah. probably be our favorites. That's probably how it'll go I, this year. I feel like that's how it's gone in the previous years with um, with certain movies. Yeah. So. so let us know, guys. Again, what are some of the things you're anticipating? What are some of your least anticipated of the year? What are your surprise movies? Because I have Immaculate being a movie that may be a surprise. I love those type of movies. Like I said, Sister Death is really good. It could come yeah. out of nowhere and just shock me. So do you guys like the trailer reactions? Would you like to see us do these? We're probably not going to do seven in seven days again, um, just because we have to find time. But uh, this was a lot of fun, and we would love to keep doing this for you guys. So let us know, do you like this? Would you like to see us do this more? And we really appreciate you guys sticking around for a week doing this with us. So until next time, guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It helps to build the channel more than you know. And follow Sledgehammer Horror on social media. Our links are in the description as well. But until next time, keep talking horror. Stay who you are. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.